Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Friday, April 14th, 2023. Lance Brack here to talk some pro wrestling this Friday morning. And on today's episode, gonna talk real quick about last night's episodes of Impact Wrestling and Ring of Honor on Honor Club. Let's start things off with Impact Wrestling, which was is the last episode, I believe, that was taped at St. Clair College in Windsor before the go-home episode of Impact before this Sunday night's Rebellion pay-per-view. And uh, before the Impact... We have Johnny Swinger and El Reverso. And El Reverso actually picking up the win. El Reverso is one I remember seeing here on the Indies in Michigan quite a few times. And Kenny King representing Team Bully Ray takes on Frankie Kazarian and King gets the win with some interference and Team Bully has the numbers advantage here over Team Tommy Dreamer and I just want to talk about that real quick is apparently unless I was mistaken but I thought Darren McCarty was going to be on Team Tommy Dreamer for Hardcore War. And unless plans have changed. And unless maybe they were just talking about that match he had on Impact. But I thought he was going to be in the Hardcore War. Because there's that video they put online a little while back. Where... Kupinder Kujar uh, he gives Darren McCarty his spot on the team like I said plans could have changed and Steve Macklin and Kushida the two men who will battle for the Impact World Championship at Rebellion they go at it a little bit here and then we have Black Taurus, Lucha Lit, Lince Dorado, Laredo Kid, and Rick Swan in a very exciting match with Laredo Kid getting the win, returning to Impact Wrestling. Pretty good match here. And. Havoc and Rosemary are unable to get to the undead realm to save Taya Valkyrie. Unfortunately, they were not able to go to AEW to save her. And Taylor Wilde, one half of the Knockouts Tag Team Champions, with her partner in the coven, Kylie King, takes on Jessica and Taylor Wilde is able to pick up the win the Impact Digital Media Champion Joe Hendry and Dirty Dango take on Sammy Callahan and Alan Angels of the Design There are continues to be more problems with Callahan and the design. Callahan and Cody Diener are arguing out on the floor. That distracts Angels, allowing Dango and Hendry to pick up the win. And then Santino Morella comes out, makes the save. 
he will be returning to the ring this Sunday night at Rebellion. And it was announced the other day that this Sunday at Rebellion, PCO and Eddie Edwards will be going one-on-one -on -one in a last rights match, which I'm pretty sure the only last rights match we have seen in Impact Wrestling history was Sting and Abyss, which... I wouldn't really say got the best reaction from the crowd. I remember there being fire Russo chants during this match. And Giselle Shaw with J. Vidal and Savannah Evans in her corner taking on Tasha Steele. And these two had actually a very good match and this one was actually a lot better than I thought it did Shaw and Steels were great in this one and the finish sees Giselle Shaw get injured on the floor hurts her knee and then Tasha Steels takes her back in the ring takes advantage of the injury to get the win. Once again, these two had a very good match. And if you missed it last night, I definitely recommend checking this match out. Very entertaining match here, I thought. And our final segment of Impact Wrestling this week. We see the Impact Wrestling Knockouts champion Mickey James. And it's time for the decision if she will be able to compete at Rebellion or not. And I was wrong. I expected her to still be able to compete this Sunday and make it a three-way match. But she announced that she will not be cleared to compete at Rebellion. So she is giving up the Knockouts Championship. She sat it down in the middle of the ring, sat her cowboy hat down, and exited as we see Deanna Perrazzo and Jordan Grace watching in the back. Razzo and Grace will now have a singles match at Rebellion to crown a new Impact Wrestling Knockouts champion. And I, like I said, I was wrong. I expected that Mickey James, she would be okay to compete. It would be the three-way match. But instead, we got a singles match for to crown a new knockouts champion. So that was last night's episode of Impact Wrestling. This Sunday, Rebellion should be a very good show. And then next up, let's go over to Honor Club and talk about this week's episode of Ring of Honor Wrestling. Mark Briscoe defeats Arya Davari. The varsity athletes attacked Briscoe after the match but then we get a save from the new AEW World Tag Team Champions FTR Sky Blue defeats Kelly Madden Ruby Renegade defeated Madison Rain and this is the match that it was reported that Madison Rain may have suffered an injury during Willer Yuta defeated Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. The Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Champion Katsuyuri Shibata and Alex Coughlin defeat the Workhorsemen. From top fight, Darius Martin defeats Mike Bennett via disqualification when Matt Taven interferes and then 
post-match action. Andretti comes in and makes the save for Darius. And they challenge the kingdom to a match next week on Ring of Honor. Willow Nightingale defeats LMK. Stu Grayson representing the Dark Order with Evil Uno in his corner defeats Tony Neist. And then we see the Righteous have a little stare down with the Dark Order next. And they say they're retiring, trying, I should say, to recruit Stu Grayson to join the Righteous. Righteous. The ROH women's title proving ground matches next. Athena defeats Ashley Dean Boys. The ROH world champion Claudio Castagnoli defeats Metalik. And that was last night's new episode of Ring of Honor on Honor Club. And sorry I didn't do an episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic to recap both shows. Thank you for tuning in to this morning on this Friday of Good Morning Wrestling Fans right here on Spreaker or wherever you are listening. I hope to have more episodes of 360 Wrestling Fanatic for you soon. But I will be back tomorrow for the Saturday morning episode of GMWF. Hope everyone has a great Friday tonight. Hope you enjoy WWE SmackDown and Rampage. Which could be starting at 9.30 or whenever the basketball game is over. And last time that happened on a Friday night, the ratings were really good for Rampage. So let's hope there's a repeat. Uh, Until then, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Keep watching pro wrestling.